Hello and welcome to episode 54 of Thinking Outside the Pod. 54. 54. Uh, it's a lot of episodes. It's a lot of episodes. Technically, season two, I guess, year two. Season two. Season Electric two. Boogaloo. Yeah. Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. have to do it every time. The first first episode of the season where we're all together. Uh, so, uh, awesome. Uh-oh. We get we get three points of view on everything. So, um, <laughs> that's what you want to call it? All yeah, right. Yeah, te- sure. yeah, technically. We, we all have different lives and backstories and stuff. So, <laughs> But uh, first things first, a little, uh, a little um, humble bragging, I guess, on my part. Um, if, Uh-oh, here it comes. If any of y'all saw the video that we posted, um, the Oscar prediction. Hopefully none of you saw it. Ev- I didn't see it. <laughs> episode. So I wasn't part of it either, so I had um, Awesome. <laughs> well, me and Patrick went head to head on Oscar predictions. Um, yes. This this year, we both saw a, a majority of the movies. I saw none. And yeah, that's, <laughs> and so that's, I haven't and, seen any of them. That's, and who knows? You might have. I mean, you could have just guessed and probably beat I, us both. Who but, knows? Dice but, roll. <laughs> but like last year, I won again. I got second place both years in a row. So <laughs> that's true. Row. Second place. Yes. Yeah. So I'm running it up. I got. I get. I think I got like 16 right, and you got eight right. Well, I so. still beat Foster. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how do you know? You don't know what I guessed. I oh. will, we will never know, but I still beat you. <laughs> Technically, on the video, you guessed. No, Technically, you guessed I'm zero own. and infinity the, at the same time. Oh, so that's it's the, uh, the Schro- participation award. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's Schrodinger's so. fish. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm <laughs> infinite and I am non-existent. Yeah, at the same time. Yes. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get into the uh, our regular type of episode where we go over kind of some current events and things. Um, I found a bunch of stories and. As probably most of you know, it's movies and TV. <laughs> I know, that's, yeah. There, Shock I, and awe there. <laughs> I, 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 that's just what I like. That's I live vicariously through these, through movies and stuff. So that's where my life gets excitement, I guess. Unfortunately, that's porn sad. movies. Yep, it's all about it's all <laughs> about it. porn uh, movies. All right. Here we go. I had that feel. He had that look in his eyes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, hey, you uh, never know. I never fought you about it. <laughs> Um, Listen, Fisher, that just made it weird. I know. <laughs> I guess idea. a lot of the news centers around um, announcements or confirmations of, about sequels uh, a couple, uh, and some other ones. But the the biggest one, I think, is, uh, the, or at least for me, is uh, Mallrats 2, sequel to uh, Kevin Smith's Mallrats, like, yes. his second movie. Uh, he Mallrats was a very good movie. It's it wasn't well received, I don't think, but yeah, but it was still very good. It was it was yeah. It's it's a, like a cult. It's one of those cult classic movies. Have you seen it at all? Nope. No. It's another one of my list of probably movies I probably should have seen but haven't because I, I was too busy playing video games. I say definitely. It's it's uh it's it's a nerd nerd type movie. I I guess I, like I would a, say it, it's, it, it, it's a counterculture name, type name thing. implies yeah a mall rat it's people that just have nothing really to do but hang out at the mall all day. So it's and, like clerks but in a mall. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> ex- that's exactly. I've what only it is. seen parts of Clerks. I haven't seen the entirety of the movie. I still that's another movie on my list of movies to eventually get around to watching. Yeah, I I, I say you should because it's it's. Kevin Smith is a, a weird kind of a writer and director. He's his, a lot of his like dialogue is amazing, yeah. like really highbrow stuff. Okay. But then he also throws in like, uh, like poop jokes just sure. randomly in there. And so like Family Guy, but yeah, not as Family Guy. Hey, what, for what was that? Huh? What was that? So Kevin Smith, like a lot of his oh, yeah, dialogue yeah, is yes. good. Like his his writing is is awesome and like really makes you think at, at some points. But then there's also some other times where you don't have to think at all and you just sure, snicker brings, and, and yeah brings yeah. you back to reality a little bit it, exactly like, okay, this is a stupid movie guys yeah <laughs> you've seen it you've seen what clerks you said right Part, parts, parts of it so i, I kind of get the gist of mm-hmm. yeah it, in a mall Not that's works, and yeah. so yeah, yeah and he it's like the guys are really into comic books and video games and stuff like okay. that one of the people and well i mean you, you, if you think about it um like growing up that was kind of like the thing we would do it's like i had a job that i was always at and if i wasn't there i was hanging out downtown with my friends at one of the malls you know yeah. one of the malls and uh, and I mean, uh, he does a really good job of like telling the story. It's it's kind of like a one act play type thing to me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? He's got like a, a setup. He's got like a little theater here with like the, the the backdrop, and then the story that he puts into it to like like see what's going on. And it's kind yeah. of it, it's it's fun. It's interesting. It's like a snapshot into that time <coughs> for sure. Like it. Yeah, like, definitely. It it it's I, I I definitely recommend it. And I I know it's not for everybody, but I think I think there are point. Parts of it that are, are that 
are universally sure. funny. You got to uh, see like like all of like you know a lot of them. You got to see like Clerks. You got to see the Mallrats, the Chasing Amy's, the. Did he do Stealing Harvard? Was that his? No, thing? no. Jason Lee was in that, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah but that was I, Jason he, Lee. I don't I'm think sorry. he was connected with that. I thought but, for some reason that was a, one of his also. But yeah, Chasing Amy, um, and then he did some other weird ones, and then Clerks Two, and I still got to see Tusk. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, Tusk is it's one of those weird movies. Kevin Smith is up and down on movies. I didn't see Red State. Or I saw parts of Red State. It, I haven't like, seen Red State. That was his, his first foray into like horror movie, like scary movies. Which so I, I was just like, eh, I don't really want to see it. Um, but but then I saw Tusk and it was it was cool because it was about podcasters. Like the main characters were podcasters, so that, that was, yes, I was like, ah, yes. I know that world. Um, so that was cool. Um, and then he's gonna do a movie called Yoga Hosers. Oh, where it's you another know. it's another scary movie set in Canada. Canada, there we go. And it, and it has <laughs> and it has his daughter as one of the main characters, and then um, Johnny Depp's daughter as well. Huh. So it's and Tusk was good, so it's set in that same world and has Johnny Depp in it. So I mean, it's got some acting power. It's got in some it. potential behind it. Yeah. So so that's cool. Um, and. I liked Clerks too. Like Clerks too is another one of those movies that took for, took a long time to get released, and yeah. it kind of caught you back up in that world. And so I think Mallrats two is going to do the same thing, and he's going to be directing and writing it. So I have no problem with it. I it a lot of his movies don't do well, but I'll see it. I'll watch it. I'll go to theaters if it's in theaters and and pay well, for that's it. That's the thing. Yeah, most people won't pay for it, but after you know a lot of enough people see it, you realize that hey, it is a pretty cool movie. Yeah, and yeah, he's like kind of like. The independent filmmakers like golden sure, like, like poster the, yeah, poster indie, boy yeah, film yeah guy. just he just took out a lot of credit cards and just made made clerks with his friends and at his job yeah. during at night and just got it re- got it uh, picked up and released and yep. just well, had a, had an history. awesome career. Well, the soundtrack to that movie was freaking insane as well. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's it's your kind of music. It's like nineties. Like like angst rock, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a really great soundtrack, dude. Uh, um, I'll see if we can find the link. I know they've got them up on YouTube somewhere. I'm, I'm sure there are. Yeah, you guys, we'll have to put the link up so you guys can like listen to the soundtrack and then you realize where the movie's coming from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's definitely like I said, a snapshot of its of its time. Each one of his movies. And it's kind of weird because it's like a Seattle kind of grunge era, but it's set in New Jersey. You yeah, know? so it's like the other side of the world mm-hmm. almost. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. It's it's just confirmed. Like he he has a lot of stuff he's doing before that even happens. So I hope it happens. I I I would think there's gonna be a lot of interest on it because uh, he he's got a good fan base. He does like 50 different podcasts yeah. on his thing. So he's he's always self promoting and stuff. So I think it's good. Um, but uh, another sequel that came that was just announced, Zoolander Two. Zoolander. I saw two. some video footage of them walking down the catwalk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Seems he, some... he steals it. It's his cell phone. The movie came out what, like ten years ago? It, it was a while ago. That's... Yeah, why, why do people feel the need to make sequels to movies that are so freaking old? That's man? yeah. It's it. Almost seems like a desperate cash grab for. You know, I remember the movie. It was, mm-hmm. it was funny and all, but you know, does it need a sequel? That's... No, not ten to fifteen years later. Well, did Star Trek need a million fucking sequels? Star Trek? Yes. yes. Sure. It, it no, needed more, no. and it's still going. No, you see, um, Star Wars actually has like a story plot too. So, well, Star, Star like Trek is kind of like over after like I don't know. There, Captain Sean Luke Picard was like the last. It's just one it is. It's not a main story. It's a lot of. Different stories. It's like together. a longer episode, essentially, is what it is. One it's second. Like a giant episode. And we're back. Um, but uh, uh, the thing is, with those sequels that take a long time, it's so risky. Like, yeah. There's, because there's no, there's a real slim possibility of them succeeding in it. Yeah, because it's That's like, the who, who's the market now? Because it's like, you, you try to get new people, but they're like, you new know, people. new people. Oh. <laughs> they want that too. Yeah, what the hell yeah. is the original movie? And then you get the people like us who are like, well, we kind of remember the original movie, but do we really want another one? Yeah, it's, and... Yes, we would like another one. There, I guess. It I depends. Mean, it depends. Don't like, ruin this picture. I don't know. Well, they're going to make it regardless of what I yeah, say. Yeah. They're not going to be like, oh, no, Fisher doesn't like it. We're not going to make Zoolander 2. That was our one person that we had to... That and was if our they do, decision maker. Oh, that would be like, well, shit. I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> it's like, what else can I mess up? <laughs> but I, I think it... I, from the filmmaker's standpoint and, and the stars and writers' standpoint, I it's they want to get... 
yeah, it's it's like you said, a cash grab kind of. They want to get that story that they have more to say on it, I guess, and I guess. they want to introduce it to a new new generation. I want to be Mugatu in this one. <laughs> Did he die uh, in the last one? Um, I don't remember. So no, he. Ago. I know he just got tackled at the end, and then just uh, he's the guy with the funky white hair, right? Will, Will, Ferrell. Ferrell. Yeah, Will Ferrell. Yeah. 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 So, um, I I I don't know. It, we should it's, make a Caddyshack three. Uh, that movie's pretty I, old, I, right? Yeah, that Smokey is. Smokey and the Bandit four. Oh no, right? Oh, I don't. I don't no. know. Short Circuit four or three. Well, how many of those were? I there? think they did. Well, Chappie. Two. Chappie's kind of like Short Circuit. Yeah. yeah, Chappie. I don't know. Have you seen it? I saw it. Was yeah, it really good? we talked about it last episode. Yeah, it was. I liked it. It was a good movie. It was. Uh, I've heard both ways. There like, was, that sucks. I heard it wasn't. It was really cool. Wasn't the best, but it was. It was it was a good story. Just really like and District Nine. Yeah, like was, I like District Nine. I thought that yeah. was a good movie. Well, District yeah. Nine was, was cool, but it was weird. Yeah, yeah. District Nine. I mean, you could. Pretty it, weird. it had an obvious message, like I said last episode, and so did Chappie. They, the that director writer guy, beats you over the head with the message yeah. every time and makes it kind of obvious. So that I and eh, that's good that it's there. It's but like they say, you got to assume your audience are idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, like not so, for our audience. So you, not, guys, you, guys, you, not guys, you guys are idiots. You guys are idiots. Nope. We, yeah. they, we have Their idiots. audience. Like, so like you think you're idiots. Fuck it, man. Like I gotta own it, right? Our, Everybody's our, sorry, dude. Our fan base, like you know how people like have like <laughs> fan base that they call like their fans, like. Uh, Lady Gaga calls theirs like little monsters. We'll just call ours idiots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, idiots? What's up? What's up, <laughs> Make idiots? sure to like. Dumbasses. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe on our videos, you idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Become an idiot. Need more today. idiots. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a T-shirt that says "I'm with idiot." Yeah, I'm an idiot with a yeah, arrow, arrow, arrow pointing up. Arrow pointing up. Perfect. Have our so, lo- have our logo. Well, the first the merch. finger pointing at you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pointing <laughs> out. <laughs> With <idiot. laughs> merch it's store gonna... coming later. Yeah, 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 we'll get that. We'll get that. So get your credit card through. You guys idiots. aren't idiots. <laughs> we will sell exactly two t-shirts, and that'll be two. Or three t-shirts, that'll be two our mugs. <laughs> yep, exactly. Done. <laughs> Podcast. Um, Pod, Pod idiots. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I don't know. It's. I, I'll watch it because I like Zoolander. It's just it's one of those weird like Dumb and Dumber. Like it had a movie, yeah, it had a sequel, that one. and it just I, sounded like such a. <laughs> it was not good. Yeah, it it sounded I, horrible. It was oh I felt like in the original movie. I guess I was younger and I just was thought everything was like funny that they were saying. But now I I see like those two characters acting the same way and I'm like I'm so, I feel sorry for them. Are they they're like they're like are they. They, yeah, they need help. Whose idea do. was they're, this? They're yeah. like, we like, we tried it or something, right? <laughs> they, yeah, they definitely were hand- like yeah. There you go. I'm not going to say it the other way. It's, a, it's the same way. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> if you pronounce it wrong, doesn't mean it make it right. <laughs> well, whatever. That's, whatever. A good, that's a good line, I think. I, that's I another shirt. So. That's another shirt. If you pronounce it wrong, it still makes it wrong. It still makes it wrong. All right, what else? What are there? Um, I guess... Um, yeah, those are kind of the biggest things. The other other kind of funny entertainment story is uh, breaking the Breaking Bad um, story. Any, did you watch Breaking Bad, Fisher? Nope. Okay. That movie is the bomb. Show that movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's well, I technically, watched it's a it very, on Netflix. very long movie. It's, <laughs> it's it's a huge, long, long movie. That's like, what she said. like it's it's just one one story arc throughout the whole thing. But uh, Breaking Bad, one scene was uh, Walter White, the the main character. Got real angry at his his Ex wife. Wife or that, like split up. Yeah, they they had, they had separated, um, not divorced yet at that point, but they would separated. So he wasn't living in the house. But uh, he brought brought his son home or something with a, a big pizza to kind of like make amends and kind of have a family meal and yeah. something like that. But uh, she she like just turned him away, and he had this huge huge pizza, like one of those big like about the size of this table type oh, okay. pizza. Yeah, and. Uh, and he, she turned him away at the door, and then he was just angry. So he just threw the pizza up the onto the roof, onto and it, the... and uh, from from reading like behind the scenes, that happened in one take perfectly. Like it landed, oh, wow. ra- landed uh, face up on the roof, and perfectly. <laughs> and it was kind of a funny thing because it stayed up there for a while, yeah. like in the episodes, and then. Then she was like, and get that pizza off the roof. And then there's a scene where he's getting the pizza off the roof. And apparently fans of the show have been throwing pizzas on that the actual house of 
where, where they, where they filmed it. They got your house covered in the, pepperoni pizza. The problem is that it's an actual couple that lives there. That's uh, it's not it's not like a set or anything. It's an actual <laughs> house in. Yeah, so they just rented somebody's house, sure. Yeah, and and uh, so so the, <laughs> so the Breaking Bad Vince Gilligan, the guy who wrote the show and the showrunner for uh, Breaking Bad, has <laughs> pleaded with fans. He's like, please stop throwing pizza <laughs> <laughs> at, at these at innocent people's house. house. It's, it's and he he kind of went went off on him because he was sure. like it's not cool it's yeah. not it's not you're you're hurting the show by saying it's fans or jerks and stuff like that no and that's a completely legitimate complaint i mean yep. he's yeah it doesn't sound i mean it depends on how he worded it where but. was this at this is in new mexico we should go to new mexico and throw pizza no on this house. <laughs> we should not i think i'd like to do that's that. a waste of pizza well, I would well, eat, well, let's eat. Like the get die one, get one free, and we'll throw the free one. Oh, huh? no! I want to eat the free one. I, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you can each have a slice, and then I'm throwing the rest of them. You can, you can. Well, you, can, well you, you get to pay for it then. You, you fine. Can, so, yeah. well, can, if I'm paying for it, they're both going up. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you can throw your slices up there. You're, all right, all right. I can throw a few slices. Your, at least I'm cool third. with that. I'm cool with that. <laughs> it's not a whole pizza, Vince. I'm sorry. We're doing our best. Walmart and get like. Twenty of those fucking quarter pizzas they got in there. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> those microwave fr- frisbees. Well, that's when we, <laughs> that's when we uh, make a hole in the roof because of the stupid oh, pizza. No, okay. Like if we throw them, they're frozen. We just come back in like what an hour or so. And it's be, like, Arizona, ready. yeah. Be ready. It's, it's getting that summer, which I hate. I hate this so much. Oh, I love it. This is uh, like, I like I summer. Right now, shorts. right now it's good. Okay weather. I don't right have to now wear it's, any more it's, it's cool enough for me not to sweat. You no. pants. <laughs> oh no! It's happening again. Podcast near you. It's happening again. Um, is there a reference for the episode? <laughs> yeah, I need to time mark this real quick Uh-oh. so we get it. So I get it in it for next. Uh, I know, it's pretty sad. Even when he's not here, we're still making no pants references. So. Yeah, <laughs> well, I told you guys because it's dude. like pants just suck. Well, it's not us. I, <laughs> I no pants don't suck. Pants are awesome. Pants. I like pants. Pants, are, pants are my well, friends. Pants, your pants bother me. Take them off. Oh, no. Whoa! That's, that's his line. You guys, pants. That's his, at least buy me dinner or something first. That's, that's his pickup line. <laughs> Not you guys. Pants. Buy him some pizza first. Yes. And All right, and we're gonna throw it. We're gonna throw it on a roof. Yep. Then, then, Done. Then that's then all. Or you have to pay for anything. That's 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 it. amazing. That's an amazing date night. It's like right. we're gonna go get some pizza, throw it on a roof, take our pants off, and see what happens. See what happens. And I don't know what the next step is after that. I kind of forgot about it. Step four: profit. Yeah, I haven't gone that far. Step four is I don't know. It's new to me. You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, those are kind of the entertainment stories. Um, there, there are a couple different uh, new trailers and things are happening. Like Netflix, is Daredevil, dude. That, that just to mention it. Did you, know, you, I was did you watch of, it? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I think it is really cool looking. Uh, I think it might be better than the movie they made. Uh, well, you know what I mean. I, I like the movie. A lot of people didn't, so I'm sure it is. It's much more grittier and realer. Yeah, like man, it looks really like cool. his costume is just like sweatpants and a, and a bandana that goes well, around his eyes. Like before he gets his like his this, red suit, his yeah. leather. Okay, well, but it's, but it's, yeah, like like it, it's a really cool looking. And it looks like 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 the comic book scenes. It, like you said, gritty looking. It looks like a comic book. So it looks really fun. So I'll just take a look at it. It looks like it, it's yeah. going to be awesome. And there, and Netflix is doing a lot of a lot of new shows like that. He's I saw Jessica that Mark Jones Polo show that they put oh, out yeah. on Netflix. I watched the whole thing in like two days, three days. The I, whole I started season. watching it. I stopped and I haven't gone back it and uh I, I can't like the ending of that first season was just like amazing like it, it's really well written man like netflix is really putting some stuff some cash into this stuff yeah uh, their, the, their the, original programming the scene the, the scenes that they're shooting they're like you know probably like somewhere in china in country china somewhere but like um like in the country in they're, china they're going they're going but, for but it they, for sure. they're, they're putting money in all this stuff man and, and it's coming out really well like like uh, you know I, i've heard what house of cards is another original one right yeah and i've that one's blown up season three i just came out i've almost watched it all um, i mean i'm sure there's like a few other ones that didn't do so hot but yeah probably well, sure. um but another one that came out um unbreakable <clears throat> kimmy schmidt it's it's uh, made by tina fey Oh, who did Dirty Rock. So, chick, right? Is, have you uh, seen any of those? Yeah, I watched it. I watched it all. You did? Yeah, was I it wa- good? Yeah, it was really good. It was, I want to watch it, that next. It was, I'm watching Pyro right now. Um, 30 Rock is over, so, and it's, I, I'm i assuming it's made by a lot of the same writers, because that comedy, that r- wordplay comedy that 30 Rock was known for is in the, this new new Kimmy Schmidt movie, and uh, or TV show, and uh, 
It's awesome. I sure that's like that. Uh, that one can Amy Poehler did the uh, Broad City on Comedy Central. I didn't. That I, is fucking gold. Man. I know. I need a. I've that been told is, to watch is, it. Is awesome. Uh, some of the situations that these two chicks get into, and it's like yeah, you can tell it's like Amy Poehler driven mm-hmm. because like it's, like Parks and Rec. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's kind of like that same humor, but like you know, no offense to Amy Poehler, I think she's doing a lot. If she's writing for this stuff, I think she's doing a lot better as mm-hmm. a writer than she yeah. would as an actor. I mean, these well, yeah. two chicks knock no, it out of the park. No, I mean, but she, was, ideas are fucking she was good in Parks and Rec, and now that that's over, and also 30 Rock, yeah, Tina yeah. Fey and Amy Poehler need to do something, and I'm glad that they're, they're, they're will, still that's, doing that's stuff. That's what I'm saying. I, I really dig Broad City, and if you're saying that this one is you know, good too, then I mean, it's then, then, then it's, it's working for it's them, you know? I can, I can see why some people might think it's girly, because it is about a girl and her like fashion and, and kind of stuff, but the comedy is really funny, and... It has it. I I recommend it, and the theme song's pretty funny. Like you know how they like uh um what was that, when when they found those girls in uh in that guy's house and then she, they escaped and the, you get that that one guy and he's like if you see a white girl run to a running to towards a black man you know that that's that's something's that's like, wrong yeah some something something's wrong and then they auto tuned it to make like uh, they parodied that and they auto tuned his voice to make a song oh, they did that because. They did that for the theme song, and it's really catchy, and it's it's funny. I, I recommend that show. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so so that's the my yeah, entertainment. I'm so out of touch with TV nowadays. Yeah. I mean, the only show that I watch now is Gotham. That's yeah. about it. I don't watch TV. I watch Netflix television. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's still, weird. That's, I mean, yeah. it's, I, it's one of those of nowadays, that when you think of it, it's slowly starting to become TV. I mean, mm-hmm. we'll, I... I Bet you we'll start seeing like broadcast television stuff on the internet. I'm surprised we haven't already. Yeah, I mean I, it's getting closer and closer. I mean I, they're starting to have like a, if you have a paid subscription, you can stream your stuff online. I think there's a say forget the broadcast. Let's just put it on the internet. It's yeah, I should become the, that's going to be the future. Patent this first before I say we should. <laughs> oh, I guarantee you, there's probably already patents yeah, for it. We they should just start haven't. doing porno like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They, we need some actors. It, they kind of already we do. Need that, but... <laughs> that, we need to make Craigslist ad. I'd say most porn is independent. At, I'm, I'm sure there's like big studios and stuff, but I'm sure that a lot of it isn't. We'll do one with like the 70s, and we'll have Jimmy up there. Uh, and like we'll just tease out his beard. We'll grow it out a little bit more. Uh, no, what, the 70s, I need the mustache. Just the mustache, right? Okay, well, we'll go like, I don't know, 60s. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. One of those eras where they add it. We'll dress him up as a fucking lumberjack, right? Done. Right. Oh, no. We'll put a wig on Foster and there we go. Oh, no. We got actors. Oh, no. We got actors. Why does that have to be me? I'll get Taco and Izzy to film it, so I ain't got nothing to do with this. So you don't have pants on in the first place. I'll direct, <laughs> I'll direct from the other room. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, no. I'll be We're like, cut, cut. That. Hold on, let me put my blindfold on. All right, I'm coming in. All right, you guys. <laughs> I'll be the first director to direct a movie that I've never ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll dare, Did they come out good? Daredevil. I don't know. <laughs> you'll, you'll be the daredevil of directing. There we go, you see. Segue. Um, I just feel it. <laughs> I, I, would, I would assume the sounds would probably be nauseating as well. So. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you guys are um, fucked up. Hey, I didn't say nothing. I'm... I'm... Like a So... Oh no! Uh, and you're and you're you're have no you have no you have no eyesight, so like your hearing is better than anything. So you'll hear all the nuances. Jesus! Oh, please stop! We're not gonna uh, do that. don't don't worry, idiots. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, but uh, I did not name you guys that. They did. Yeah, hey, no. <laughs> who, wait, who did it? It was you. I just it brought it up. No, I said. I said. Uh, no, what? I said dumbasses, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember who said it. I say Patrick. Well, I don't know. We will go back into recording. I said you gotta, you gotta remember that you gotta assume your audience is always. So it idiot. was you. And then I looked at the camera and I was like, "Well, wait a minute." <laughs> it was you? All right. Um, it was so, not uh, me. I, did, I said that, but I didn't call them idiots. That was you guys. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and switch gears real quick. Um, where, are we, where are we going? We want to go culture or tech? Who, who wants? All right, fine. Tech, I guess yes. it is. Um, so, so yeah, what's what's going on? So in tech biggest world? thing with tech. Uh, Mostly for video games. I, I really yeah. haven't yeah. been keeping up with stuff lately. I've been busy. But uh, Steam, mm-hmm. uh, or I guess Valve, I guess is the company. Uh, mm-hmm. They've been working on their like their whole Steam product line, I yeah. guess you could call it. Uh, Jimmy and I, we kind of, I think we touched back on it uh, last week a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but then afterwards, I, I took a chance. and or I, I, t- I had some you time. You touched I, the back of it, and then you took a chance. 
I don't. Shut up. <laughs> Talking is hard. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay. Jeez. But uh, but yeah. But, um, I was coming with something else. I had some time no, 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 no. and I looked it up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, so what they like, they have like their controller, their weird looking controller, which I, I can't say much about. It it looks unwieldy to me, but I, I won't know until I actually. Yeah. You know, so did what the N64 controller looked unwieldy as hell. It's like yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna go like I need another hand, need another, hand. another arm. Yeah. yeah, and and I I think the controller is one of their biggest like hardships to do. I mean, there's probably other things, but to make a controller that does computer games well, easy like, it's, is, it, the is, idea is I would, to, I would assume it's hard. It's turning a mouse into a controller, which is an incredibly difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the dual trackpads, I, I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I understand why they're doing the dual trackpads, and so you can kind of go and be, you know, see, so you, you can't do a mouse motion with a single thumb. You need both your thumbs. Yeah. But to me, it I think it'd be incredibly awkward to try to use both your thumbs to replicate a mouse mm -hmm. gesture, but I don't know. You know like, I, I haven't touched it. I would assume yeah, with so most know. controllers, they should there, use there your middle finger to create mouse gestures. Well, I mean, you just use a trackpad. I mean, yeah. but but you know, it, it, trying to do a trackpad to to you know as the same as a mouse pad, you need a really big trackpad. Yeah, it's That's what she said. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know why she said it. She works at Steam. No. Um, but uh, but so I haven't heard. My, I knew they announced it. And I I think I saw pictures of it. Yeah. Um, how's it going? Is there like big new? What's, well, what's going on? Well, what else they're Is doing? Is it the next big thing in video games? I don't parts parts of what they're coming out with. I definitely see are going to be awesome. So maybe like the start of the next big thing in the maybe. Video game. Well, because like because also some of the other products is they're going to have a like a streaming box that you can hook up to your TV, and what it'll do is it'll I think it uses your wireless, and then you just it it's basically like a wireless HDMI like a, cable essentially. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So so there there's yeah there's that's one product that they're going to have. That's the one I'm excited about because mm -hmm. that's the one that probably. For me, since I'm gonna, you know, since I I have a computer already, so it's kind of like and, the Chromecast you know, or like the dongle or something like that, yeah. where you hook it up to your TV and then it wirelessly plays. Yes, yeah. exactly. But From for like for computer games, um, but is it like a, a legit console that it plays off of, or does it just play off the box you hook up? To it, it's it's the little box and it it streams through your wireless network, I believe. Hmm. Um, I'll have to look kinda up like, exactly like more details. Well, you can stream on GameFly, can you or no? Uh, gameplay. No, no I think it's just I think it's just, right? like, yeah, it I think I yeah, but it's yeah, it's Netflix is streaming. But stream uh is is kind of like that where you, you you can buy all the video games off of that. And what it is, it's trying to bring that PC market which they're kind of cornering the market I guess on PC buying. There, yeah, that, it's that it's like, or origin. That's really about it and EA is like crap. <laughs> they yeah. they don't they don't like so money. they're they're trying to break into or they the like money because they're making a bunch of money but they yeah they're not making people happy like Steam is yeah so they're um, Steam's trying to break into the console market trying yeah. to get PC gamers back into in, into the living room where like how well, Xbox and it's not necessarily Sony. that I I don't think that's the right what they're trying to do is they're trying to get the console market which is the, the bigger market nowadays because yeah. that's where all the games are mostly being made for they're trying to get that market. In the PC gaming, and their idea was oh. they have another product which is different than this one called the uh, Steam Box, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be like one of those, like like a, a Apple Mini. Mm -hmm. It's supposed, it's like one of those, but it's designed to play video games. Yeah. Um, okay. But the issues they're having with that, or at least what some of the stuff I was looking up, is there's too many of them. There's uh, like 13 different ones, and yeah. their price ranges vary, and the specs vary, and so. If you're trying to sell the console market, it doesn't make sense to have that many options. No, you just want a not. box that you plug into your TV and go. Yeah, and I just that's... want a box full of ice and beer. Sure, I mean, yeah, right here. you want it as, it, but this as simple is, as possible. This is yes. a a box where one box has one type of beer and one no ice. This all. one has all ice and like no beer. And, yeah. you know, it, it's yeah, it's really confusing. Yeah, yeah, and you don't know. And and it's the like, box with all ice and no beer costs four hundred dollars, where the one with all the beer and no ice costs a thousand dollars. You know, it's very confusing. Um, so it's definitely, it's one of those of the... Just I, wait, just wait. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I, I don't plan on buying one because I can build my I, own I computer. I saw it was pretty point? cool, but yeah. I they look, they look cool. There. I'd rather go get the new PS, uh, what, 5? What, what is PlayStation 3? What is 4, it? 4, four, four, four right now. It's 4 now. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I would... Well, but it's for different games. I mean, the thing is, is the idea is they want to get, they want to get a bigger market for, con or for uh, PC gaming. Um, like World of Warcraft? 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, War, World of Warcraft, like your like your StarCraft, that kind of stuff. Like, games that you can't play really on consoles. They're, they're made for PCs. Um, no, you'll it's a be good able I- to. Yeah. It's a good idea, but I don't... Just the way they're doing it right now, we'll have to wait and see. I don't know if it's going to catch, because it's, it's confusing. It's, it's like the Apple Watch. It's like after you buy the Apple Watch, you're either going to stop using your iPhone, or you're not going to use your watch. That's what I. That's the only yeah. thing I see. You're going to stop using one of these gadgets that you're paying all this money to have. It's like, all right. Because it's know. one of those of, you know, they're, they're having the hard part where they're making it confusing. Now, if I the... could use my watch without my phone, yeah. I would sell my fucking phone and just use my watch. What's up, man? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, I don't know. I, yeah, what, from what you're saying, I, yeah, they're doing it completely wrong. It, it just if, seems if, wrong. If, it, if they want to grab console console gamers, they need to make it as easy like as possible. One, yeah. one was the one, yeah, the one opinion I heard that I agreed with. One, one machine. They needed to make a one deal and just made one. made one and then made it so like games somehow figured out and they'd optimize for that one machine. Exactly. So then you can update the machine later or whatever, but that's get what the, they need to do. Get the Steam Box yeah, 2 they, once they yeah. do... Yeah, if they every, like consoles. If everybody's like making games to different specs, that's going to... And that's also yeah, part of the yeah. issue, and that's why they needed one box and then figure out how to get all games to, to work for it or something. All. Yeah, that's what then, the, yeah that, if, it, if they can ever get to that point, then I definitely believe it'll take off. Mm-hmm. But until then, as it is right now, it's as confusing as buying a gaming... Trying to buy a pre-built you know, gaming PC. It's just as confusing because there's parts... You're like, I don't know what the hell... You know, the difference between a, you know, GeForce 980 and a 970M. You know, like, I don't know what the difference of those are. I mean, to, to normal really? people. Really? Well, I know what they are, but it's just different levels of graphics cards. But, yeah. you know, normal people would go, what the hell is this? Yeah. I don't know which one's better, you pa- know? Parents buying their kids a console don't want to deal with specs and stuff. They yeah. just like, I want the the play box thing you know, that I thing. Want I want power and it goes yeah <laughs> yeah because when you go to try to buy one of the steam boxes they're like all right well we have 12 different steam yeah. boxes and the parents are like what is this yeah. how do i buy this i don't know which one's the best and it's like well this one has four gigabytes of ram this one has three gigabytes For of ram three thousand dollars you can have the best one yeah. yeah and and then they say well that's confusing what what about what about that well that's a ps4 I'll take it. <laughs> is there, how many yeah, are there? One, one, one. Right. one. Yeah, I'll good. take it. I'll take that. Yeah. Throw that so, in the bag. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, it's also one of the things that they're working on is a virtual reality headsets because that's all the rage now. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah. I still don't get that. Like, you're gonna put you in a virtual reality. You're gonna see shit in virtual reality, but you're just gonna look like an idiot walking around with a headset well, on. Well, it depends. <laughs> it's know? one of those. Some of them are there. <laughs> Because like with Oculus Rift, it's it seems like it's just going to be like you, you sit in like your the chair. First, the first couple of weeks are going to be like that with it. Well, you don't you don't you don't walk around, <laughs> yeah. and it's one of those. Uh, well, the, the, with Oculus Rift, as far as I know, last the last time I played with it, you didn't walk around. You just sat in your chair and you tilted your head and it moved around. So, and and that's cool. I like that. I think that that's so what fine. What is that for? It's that, going to be for PC, and then they'll probably find a way to connect it to the consoles and stuff. Like, so, so there's going to be these glasses on it, and like you can see things in front of you. Yeah, yeah so like it, it projects a screen into both both of your eyes, so it, it's so you can see. Projects a screen into your eyes. That's well, yeah, something. well, something, but it's, it's basically like a big giant TV stuck on your like in like a, like a like, if like you, goggles. Like if, if you have your phone here, but it's like two screens, Isn't and they're really bad. Your eyes, eyes though. Well, it's. They're, it's they're, still, just, they're just, still working on it. It's I mean, just as bad as watching TV, I think. But yeah. but the thing is, it's very immersive. So, like, saying playing, like, GoldenEye or, or something. You're up in that shit. Yeah, you yeah. can, like, when you, you look turn, around. Like, instead of having a joystick like where you turn. Like, Yes, yeah, so, so... Well, because a demo that I saw is what they had is they had, what, what the Omni... Treadmills or whatever, Om- I think Om- it's what Omni tread something. something like that. Yeah, it's like oh, a- that shit that you walk in, right? Yeah, well, yeah So yeah. they had that. They had a guy with that. They had a guy with like a gun attachment, or whatever. And they had the VR headsets, and they were sitting there and they were running around and playing a video game. I mean, it was really, it looked really cool. Do I want to have a setup like that just to play video games? No, no. no that yeah. seems like too, you know, because you have to dedicate a space, you know. But um, yeah. But I- the headset, I definitely think was cool because I, I demoed it. On the, it was like a little roller coaster ride, and I mean, I was looking around all over the place, and it was cool because the the camera was moving as I was looking around. It was pretty nifty. Um, I'll have to see what type of applications they want because they're definitely already talking about like streaming concerts into these headsets. So then it's like you that get... would be fucking awesome. Yeah, so, so so stuff like that. So it'll be a new new way awesome. to do content. So you know. So now we have it. You, you get so like, some like sort of camera. A freaking Kanye West concert in New York City for like. 50 bucks you could like stream it to this go to some like theater in your hometown and stream it 
on those suckers, right? Sure, yeah. Or if you have one at home, you can just pay, buy it, buy the it's ticket, and you're it would be like, yeah. So, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens. And when it was done, you would. <clears throat> no. Uh -huh. When it was done, you would jack. <laughs> they, need, they need to rethink. Uh -huh. No. You jack on, and you, when it's done, you. <laughs> yes. All right, never mind. But, um, you turn it off. <laughs> but you with... guys are no fun. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes no fun. But uh, with uh, Steam's particular version, they're, they're teaming up with uh, HTC mm -hmm. to make a... Uh, uh, one and uh, what they're trying to do is what to they should do is they should find a way to make your cell phone a controller for a video game system well they they kind of have already there, for stuff you can control stuff. like uh drones and stuff if you're so like, you, make, stuff. you so, make like a samsung video game console and you just play like this but you can but on your tv though i this is just your controller i wouldn't want to do that it's Wouldn't it's not cool? it's it's never going I'm sure to the be, lag would suck sometimes. it's yeah it's never going to be as uh responsive as a physical controller will be it it yeah. just won't it's a touch screen it's not it's not going to be as precise as an actual physical yeah, analog like stick or a button i phone. mean xbox has smart glass which is an app that you can control the xbox one or 360 maybe even as well if it's on the same network i think or something like that i i, yeah. I downloaded yeah, it nice. once and i was just like yeah i have a controller that does better easier thing so yeah but what they're but uh back to the uh the virtual reality stuff what they're doing with the steam headset is it's going to be like you can walk around with it and it's going to detect stuff around you so you don't just walk into your wall and just you know run over your tv and stuff so like you that, don't like run out into traffic <laughs> which is fine. like the, the day which sounds like a good idea but it's just when you think of it it's going to be one of those of you know, in order to make that work effectively, you're going to basically have to dedicate an entire room to walking around. And who, mm -hmm. who you know, it's, if you're in an apartment or something like that, it's like, no, that's I would think not a, work. a pretty cool game would be is if you you have the 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 headset on <laughs> and it like what's up? <laughs> go go it like maps your apartment or whatever. And then <laughs> then you're like walking around and there's like aliens or something like in your apartment and you got to like Around corners and like shoot them. I know there's been like apps of, like that, I augmented reality. Well, cool too. Yeah. Like like on that on that note, to take something like that, but like make it anybody like it's in your vicinity makes you look like makes them look like an alien, and it says like something real loud like slap, and then you just like <laughs> slap oh, people. Geez. Well, that that would be cool. That like if like slap. like a it's an alien, like slap like, it. like a virtual paintball arena yeah, or yeah. something. Sure. Like everyone has like headsets, and you see like the opponent. As an alien or something, they have like those, and, uh, and those they map the map the, the world. Those and that's duck hunt guns, right? Those laser guns from Duck Hunt. You, just, mm -hmm. you can see the little beam shooting at you. Yeah, and I you mean, you'd have like a little gun. When you say that, when I was doing the research, that was actually one of the things they thought was like laser tag would be freaking awesome with a virtual, you know, because now now you don't have to have the stupid vest or whatever. Mm -hmm. You just have the yeah. virtual reality headset, maybe like a pack to. You know, the run the program. They don't have or whatever. to decorate any of the place that they no. live. They can let you and, into yeah, like no. nothing. And it could be anywhere you want. Like say, like I want to. We want to fight in a like a, a, a where I don't know alien world or yeah, something. Yeah, but if I could run through walls, I would totally be running through walls and like shooting you through walls and shit. Well, but the thing is, is what what you could do to, to counter that is though is you you program it so if you do run through the walls, it penalizes you. Mm -hmm. So it's like you can't shoot for. It was Oh, X amount of time, sure. or like it like shuts off your like you can't Ooh, see can't see for a second or, or something. Like... It, but yeah, but I mean, because yeah, but see, what would be cool with that though is then what you could do is instead of having like the one t course only thing, you could have just a big giant empty room, and then you could ch you could choose your course, and it'd be different. Like the know? holodeck, that That's would be Star awesome, Star and Trek. that that would be really cool because then you can have different you know different layouts and Nothing stuff like from that star trek is cool yep. you guys oh, oh, oh i disagree everything Shut for star trek rest in peace <laughs> rest in peace Mark. um i agree i i think that's Laser i think that'd be awesome i think so we'll, we'll see what happens with that i mean i'm definitely you know like the virtual reality i think depending on i don't know what they're going to do with it quite yet um, I'm excited for it. I There's think a, yeah. I think that's going to be the next step in video game technology. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the virtual reality stuff. Um, we'll just have to see what, what they do with it. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely excited for that. Um, I mean, because that's like the n biggest thing right now. Everything else is kind of stagnant. Stagnant. I mean, they yeah. there's not much else you can do other than like better graphics or, or or faster processing and stuff like that. I think that's going to be the, yeah. That's, 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 yeah. that's, that's the biggest thing I settled at, at this I can, point. Because we're, we're about as good as we're going to get. I mean, yes, we could always get better, but t to what point? It already yeah. looks pretty damn good. Yeah. It, I mean, you look at like you know, 
20, 30 years ago, and you look at where we're at now, and you're like, yeah, it is infinitely you're better. Like aliens. Yeah, because you're like, oh man, we used to have little blocky, aliens. pixelated stuff, and now it's like, oh my god, it's like an actual <laughs> rendered human being playing yeah. basketball. You're like, oh wow, this is just nuts. <laughs> Bullshit. Now yep. you, you go back to you, you show it back now when Mario first came out, and they go, oh my god, this is what Mario yeah. becomes. <laughs> what the hell? How eight, did we get there? Uh, eight pixels, and now it's like. Thousands of polygons. It's, yeah. Yeah, now it's... you get the du Luigi Death Stare coming around the <laughs> oh. corners. <laughs> oh no! Yep, exactly. Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm definitely excited for that. So um, yeah. So Steam, make better choices. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think th Steam they, don't run out of Steam. They have a couple of things that I think will sell well. Others, I'm not too confident in. We'll we'll, we'll see what happens though, because I I could be completely wrong. You never know. People may mm -hmm. go, oh, I like the Steam box because it looks cool. Yeah. Well, you know, but I mean, I don't know. If there's a lot of backlash online, I would assume Steam would be a company I would kind of listen to it more than maybe other some some yeah. other companies. I, I would think. I don't know. Let's we'll see what Valve does. They they don't. They, you know who knows. So. Yeah, we'll see. But if all else fails, I mean, they can go back to making games for a little while. I mean, they they still got the platform, so they're like, all right. Yeah. Steam's I, Steam's not going away. I, I just bought Besiege. Okay. If, I've seen, if you haven't that it's it's that like looks a, awesome. It's, I, it's it's pretty fun. I like those kind of games. You like you build a machine to destroy a little village or something like that or kill some villagers and stuff like that and you can add all these like metal spikes and make it fly and all these kinds of things it's 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 pretty fun it's like one of those phone games that yeah. it's just like you just trial and error and you're supposed to it says i don't know kill the villagers or like, get okay. the get the log on top of the hill or something like that and, yeah i watched it and some people oh, it looks have, cool some people have made some pretty cool stuff like huge like flying flying like dragon looking things and all kinds of stuff and uh, right now I'm, I'm just at like cars that have like a uh, like a a spike at one end and you just run into Burns people. Up, yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks fun. I, spike in front of the kill but I watched some videos. <laughs> Definitely, I, I eventually plan to get it. I don't know if I want to wait a little bit longer until there's more content in it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still, still in the alpha. Yeah, the it's alpha. Early whatever, access. The early access. Yeah. Yeah, and it was six bucks. I didn't. It looks like much. it actually looks like one of the few early access games where I'm like, okay, that's that looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and and there's not not much to it. It's pretty. It's a simple simple type game. Um, so yeah, that's one of the games, and it's got it's and I put Destiny on my. I started playing Destiny. Destiny? Yeah, I started playing it. Did you? Oh, did you? Cause oh. I, yeah, because I got yeah, I got it for Christmas. So I oh, finally, finally, okay, you got it for Christmas. Finally okay. started. That was one of my few games where I was extremely excited for it. And then after playing it, I felt so disappointed. I was yeah. like, it, it, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's, it's fun to play. It's repetitive, you said. But it's just for the type of game that it should have been, it was so incredibly dull. And they're just, you, you get to a point to where, you know, I, I, I guess people still like to play it, but I just got to the point where it's like with every type of MMO, I'm like, I've already done this for 40 hours. I am now yeah. done. Yeah, I've, I got, I did like a couple missions and I stopped and went back to my computer. And But I was just like, oh, I'll play it for a little bit, see how it is. And it reminded me of like Mass Effect, like the sh the shooting and stuff with the guns and a futuristic type world and whatnot. But I don't know. I it's I'm slowly trying to get back into gaming because I'm tired of not doing anything whenever I'm not like at home watching <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not doing anything. I'm tired of not doing anything. So I'm trying to do stuff. But uh, but yeah. So um, so yeah. Cool. I'm I I don't know. I like games. So I want to <laughs> I want to play. I want to play them. Don't. Laugh at me for it. Yeah, not because I'm not. I mean, yeah. I've been slowly getting through my my backlog of games. I I, I think I still got Pokemon on my phone. I got. I should finish that game right now. Right now, Rayquaza. Nah. Um, but uh, but Rayquaza is it, awesome. It, <laughs> anything uh, else in text that you kind of go, or we can jump into? I think we just yeah culture. go to the next thing because the other the other thing we came up with I don't know too much about. Yeah, so we'll, I think we'll, we'll, we'll we'll learn we'll, more. We'll, we'll learn more and then we'll come back. It's yeah. more on net neutrality. We've talked about it before on the podcast. Uh, it looks like they had some more stuff on it. We'll, we'll look up and we'll come back later when we're a little bit more educated on it. So what's going on in the world of culture and stuff like that, Patrick? At this moment in the world of culture, Patrick is walking into the Pokemasters Hall. Oh, turn, uh -oh. turn it off. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got a major battle about to insert. Oh, you're going to lose. Oh, jeez. All right, all right. Let's all right. This out. What's going on? Let's see. Today, I would like to discuss... <laughs> Here we go. You would like uh, Professor Patrick. Let's see. I mean, are there some of the stuff that I've got on here? Um... Okay, let's, let's go ahead and pause for a let's second. Let's take a, we'll, we'll let's come back. a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. 
again. Again. Uh, again. Yeah, no, another second, break, second another break. interruption. Yeah, yeah, it's been a weird day today. Uh, so. Yeah, a lot of things coming up. That's fine. <clears throat> um, but uh, right before uh, we went to break, we were going to jump into... Uh, yeah, Patrick stumbling to get his thoughts together. The, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, yeah. Our culture, We've world, got a, world events or something. A kind of... There's two things I wanted to touch on today before we get out of here. Though. One of them was a study that Jimmy brought to my attention about... Um, it says that people who drink a higher amount of alcohol have lower IQs. Yep. <laughs> so I'm not sure what, what Jimmy's trying to tell me by this, but I don't like it. So the old yeah. adage of alcohol kills your brain cells, I guess it's true. I thought it was drugs kills your brain cells, guys. Well, all of it. I think, I, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think anything fun kills your brain cells. Fuck that. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, if that was the case, Fisher would be a plant because of all the fun he has on video games. <laughs> like, oh, man. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Video games are different. Video games, I think, do good. That's to your learning. Mind. What are you talking about? I am learning. Alcohol. Well, no. Well, <laughs> it depends. I mean, you can depends. Depends. I don't know. Some people find alcohol more entertaining than video games. I don't know. I do. I, I like video games more than drinking. Really? I think so. Wow. Sure, I do. Yeah. Now... See, I mean, I, okay, here's the, the thing, thing is, you can I do like, both. I like video games more than drinking. But man, drinking and video games is like the best thing ever. That yeah. makes it way more entertaining because when you're just sitting there like, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> oh. It's fun. Yeah, it says, according to the Swedish Telegraph, or the Telegraph, Swedish researchers at the Karolinska Institute, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> I'm just drinking a little bit, <laughs> studied nearly 50,000 Swedish men be born between 1949 and 1951. The Telegraph says research has completed the first study that shows consistent links between cognitive ability and alcohol-related problems. Yeah, see? What's so. an alcohol-related problem? Alcoholism. Yeah, like, yeah, alcohol, like if you're an alcoholic. Or, I don't know, liver, liver disease and stuff. If you're an alcoholic, you're probably drunk most of the time, and you're probably not making the best decisions if you're going to be wasted all day. You know, that's well, what also, I'm going to say. Well, think of it. Also, if you're an alcoholic, you're... I guess you're basically addicted to alcohol. So even when you're not drunk, you're still going to be, you know... Your brain is up. still saying, like, Fine hey, beer. I need, I need alcohol. I need beer, and, and then you're, you're not in a that normal like state until you get the beer. Tonight. Instead, of, instead of your brain saying, like, 2 plus 2 is 4, it's now two saying... 2 plus 2 is beer. <laughs> it's like beer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2 plus 2 is beer. That's why you yell out beer, plus beer, beer a lot. Like, whenever. Dude, shit. I didn't even ever <laughs> like, realize. Was that out loud? Like, in this podcast, he's, like, five times so far. Just yell out beer. Did like, that again? No, we're, we're, talk we're talking about <laughs> um, virtual reality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I, I, I wonder the, if you can be virtually drunk. It's it's one of those things that's like, I in my mind, I I would think people that drink a lot are, aren't are as smart as people that don't. Because you, you're, like the nerd, whenever you stereotypical nerd, it's one of those people that don't go out and socialize, so they don't drink. So that's that's kind of like my... I mean, in my mind, that's what I see. So I kind of was, wasn't surprised. <laughs> Going off of stereotypes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nerdy stereotypes. Well, it wasn't racist, but... at least. Like some of the stuff that comes out of Fisher's <laughs> mouth. Hey, I give a warning. I know, it's not, <laughs> not, not racist. I'm it's, like, it's, 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 like oh. it's, it's, it's coming. Here it comes. But hey, but it's always been a valid point. And it's always been something <laughs> that's just, it just, it's true. It's not, I'm, not, I'm not like sitting well, there saying. The ones that we've released have been valid. <laughs> There's some pretty bad that I've had to cut out. There's <laughs> some random. We were just, we're I know, just, if it's six times this episode, you'd never hear it, though. Yeah, <laughs> we'll cut it out, just to, to beer. <laughs> there you go, exactly. another one. Exactly. Every, every, every time you hear Patrick say beer, that was me saying a racist comment. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's what <laughs> we, take we, a we drink. cut to. Y'all should be drinking right no, now. No, actually, oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not a racist the, 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 anything, the, so. Well, no. Because he's being no, jerks. No, no he problem, just says no a problem. lot of racist shit, which no. doesn't mean anything, of course. No, from the times that you've said anything like that, it's it's... Yeah, it's speaking not, a point or whatnot, yeah, or, or repeating what else, what someone else is saying, um, but it's fun to say that. Oh, I know. It's Coming up fun. next, uh, getting off the racist subject of Fisher here, <laughs> we're gonna speak about a, the the next roast to air on Comedy Central. It'll be March thirtieth. It's the roast of Justin Bieber. Yeah, good. I really does he even deserve one though? I well, mean, I mean yeah. hey, who easier to roast than Justin? Bieber? Oh, I know. You know? And I bet you we can go on Twitter and find like a million things of people talking shit to him, and they're not even really comedians. If you yeah. think about how good it's going to be once comedians Ooh, actual get their, like roast masters, get their hands on it. But still, but it's just one of those, you know, like yeah, like it seems like a waste of a roast. You roast, know? yeah, roasts are notoriously for people that have huge legacies. I mean, though, Comedy Central recently have been doing like Flavor Flav. Like that guy. I mean, he's yeah. he's a the, meet the dais here. These are the people that are gonna attend and probably have a hand in roasting uh, the the Beeb. 
The Beave, or whatever his name is. <laughs> the Beer. The Beer. The Beer. <laughs> Kevin Hart, Hannibal right. Burris, Chris Ella. Yeah, something like that. I've, David, I, Peter Pete Davidson, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Natasha L- uh, Legaro. Legaro, Ludacris, Shaquille O'Neal, Jeffrey Ross, and Martha Stewart. Wow. Martha uh, Stewart? I know. <laughs> there, there's some on this there. This dude is the pervert from Workaholics, where he goes to their house looking for a Chris, little boy, Chris and then they were partying with him. And I've seen him in other stuff. I think he was in uh, Let's Be Cops. Oh, no, no, that's different. He looks kind of like that guy. But uh, but I know Jeffrey Ross, Hannibal Burris, and Jeffrey Ross will kill it. And Natasha Legaro, they're they're the ones I've seen on roast before, and they're they're really good. Um, Kevin Hart's usually pretty good. Yeah, well he's yeah he's a funny comedian. I, I haven't seen him on Chris roast. Chris isn't too bad. I'm I'm sure it, they're all gonna, and I'm sure a lot of like Martha Stewart's gonna have like writers do her. Oh yeah, yeah. she's yeah. not gonna, not gonna do or stuff. Snoop Dogg and things like that. I but I don't know Snoop Dogg could do a rap. Yeah, you never he is, know. He is he is good at that, but. I would hope. That if kind he of, doesn't, that, then it's like, what I are don't, you doing here? <laughs> I, just, I just kind of rapped. I made I made a rhyme. Uh-oh. They've got a roast of Charlie Sheen. I've never seen that Yeah, one. so recently they've been doing ones like bigger. They've got so James, Donald Trump. I've seen that one. I James saw the Franco. James Franco. But the Charlie Sheen is in the middle there. So, I don't remember that one. I know Justin Bieber said he, he wanted to do it, and... So I don't know. Maybe it's one of those so things. Is like, does he deserve it? No. It's like he he deserves to get made fun of a lot. Yeah. Because of the stuff he's doing. But I don't know. Because it's like back to then. It's like roast of like, like really popular, really, like like big. Like big, they've actually had an impact like, on. Yeah. Their, well, yeah. It was Fav- Flavor Flav, uh, Roseanne, David Hasselhoff. Yeah. Donald Trump, Charlie Sheen, I mean, James Franco. Recently, they're all fine. The, yeah. yeah, they 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 have they have work that they've done. They've been around a while. And Kevin but, Kevin Hart is the roast master. Yeah, so I'm 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 interested to like read some of the jokes that have been made about it about him and stuff like that. But I hope that it makes a difference in him and makes him change because no, like, nah. won't. I well the thing is, I think a lot of people would be. Like in his same shoes, because depending, I guess he he might have been a jerk from the beginning. But his his like if you have if you're that young and you get that much money, you're gonna make mistakes. That's the that's oh, the one yeah. thing. But he was making terrible mistakes. Like yeah. you never like spit on your fans. Yeah, like you don't spit on your fans or cancel an entire show because. I'm, I'm like something stupid. I can't keep remember sending what it was, Jimmy yeah. those shirtless pictures. Yeah, please, Justin Bieber, stop doing that. <laughs> um, but uh, but. So I don't know. It's I, I think I would be a lot different if I had that much money when I was younger. I'm not that kind of person. I'd be like that. But who knows? Money changes people. And yeah. if everyone I'd around be a lot weirder, I do like a lot of weird, just weird shit. If everyone around you is cheering you on, doing stupid stuff, then you're and you're young and impressionable. So I think it's gonna happen. But some of the things it's just ridiculous that he does. Yeah. Unfortunate. Well. I guess. Well, good that we'll we see, make fun we'll of it. We'll see how it goes. This, uh, March 30th is so. uh, when it airs on Comedy Central. Uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit about it after we see it. Yeah, uh, some of the some funnier of jokes that, that we hear from we'll it. see what we can say about it. Because, um, I mean, this, usually they're really hit or miss. They usually have bright spots. but Yeah, a lot of the people that have done the roast before are really good about it. Yes. And, and they don't just hit on... I miss Greg Giraldo. He was usually good at opening and, um, up, and then Jeffrey Ross would come in, at, you know, later. Yeah, there's a bunch of Dan Pinelli. Yeah, yes, there's a bunch of roast people on these recent ones that have passed away or not doing them anymore, which is sad. But, but Who uh, passed away. Um, uh, Greg Giraldo. Oh yeah, 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 he did. And then there's another one. I can't think of his name, but he was really funny. And uh, so, but yeah, a couple other people that I can't think of right now. But uh, but yeah, good. I hope I hope they really hit them hard, not just. I'm soft. sure they will. Yeah. Jeffrey Ross is really good about yeah. putting it to two people. Yeah. I, I, and I, Hannibal I, Burris put it to Bill, Bill, Bill Cosby, Cosby yep. so I'm assuming he's going <laughs> to so, slaughter this kid. So, yeah, so I, I'm sure that's going to come up some sometime at, during this roast, because everyone roasts each other as well, so we're oh, going to talk yeah. about that to him, I guess, I, I, I would assume. Um, but, uh, yeah, anything else really that's quick? It, guys. Yeah, so uh, that's uh, episode 54, 54 of Thinking Outside 54. the Pod. Make sure you uh, follow us on Twitter. We're, we're up up to like 1,300 followers right now. So follow really? on Grindr. Thank, thank you for all that. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe right on Twitter. Twitter? Twitter. What is that, like the it, for tweens Tinder? <laughs> all of them put together. Yeah, it's everything. Twinder. Twinder. Between, yeah. Face Grindr, Grindr, Tinder. It's, it's an app. Where it's a dating app we just starting. Everything on um, there. But, uh, yeah, so you follow us on Twitter. Cheap. Like us on Facebook. <laughs> uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm getting our v- videos up 
more and more. I'm like one a day so far. So yeah, I'm man. at like 48. So I'm I'm getting getting closer. I'm like yeah. six. I'm six back now. So. Ah. Oh, back now. Everything, everything good. Five. Everything good. Low five. Beer. Uh, <laughs> we're still recording. That's, a, that's the beer. <laughs> All right, guys. We'd like to thank you before I mess anything else up yeah. tonight. Thanks, you idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to rate and subscribe so you'll be informed for all of our future updates. Make sure you visit our social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, um, or visit the website, thinkingoutsidethepod.com. All the links will be in the description below.